hello everyone today we are going to see the use of the standardization why we should use the standardization and what is the standardization that we are going to see so in standardization what it does it ensures that the certain goods and the performance are produced in the same way and via whatever the rules we have set by using that set rule we have to produce the product in the same way continuously so it ensures that so that is the standardization you can say it can be used again to make the sure business idea to code and production practice so by using this set up some standard rules we can continuously produce the same type of the product standardization is the process of implementing and developing technical standards based on consensus of different parties that include the firms or the user or interest groups or it may be standard organization and the governments so all these different things they considered and based on that they formalized the standard technical rules it can help to maximize compatibility compatibility safety reputability or even you can say the quality of the product it can also facilitate commoditization of formerly custom process so this is what the standardization and why we should use the standardization now there are different standardization that we will see you one by one the first uh, that is related to the engineering materials and their compositions then the mechanical properties and the heat treatment so this is the one first one here uh, we go for the indian standard uh, that is 210 when we say the 210 it specifies the grade of the gray cast iron and they are designated as the fg 150 f 200 and so on up to fg 400 so this is what uh, for the gray cast iron uh, we use that uh, indian standard of 210 and when we use the indian standard 1570 it specifically uh, specifies the chemical composition so what should be the chemical composition of the metal and or the different the alloy which we are using uh, if we take an example uh, that 55 cr4 so what it indicates uh, what is the reading of this so here the 100 times of the carbon uh, cont- means what uh, whatever the 55 uh, if you take divide by 100 uh, then you will get the 0.5% of the carbon and the 10 uh, times of this chromium means uh, if you divide by the uh, 10 then you will get the 0.4% of the uh, chromium so this is what the meaning that 55 cr4 so uh, it chemical composition it includes in indian standard that 1570 now the next uh, the second uh, the standards uh, that is for the shapes and the dimensions of the commonly used machine component the machine component which we use regularly that again uh, they specified some standards that we will see uh, it may be of the common uh, here uh, industrial few example that is the key different types of key which we use uh, it may be of parallel key or the taper key uh, then the nut and bolt which we use uh, different types of nut and bolt the hexagonal square or the other different types then the chain then the bearings and the belt so these are the few uh, standard component which continuously uh, we use in uh, any of the machine uh, for that they have specified some standard so here indian standard uh, 2494 which is uh, for the endless uh, v belt uh, that is v cross section it is having uh, 
and what should be its dimension in all other things we have specified in this indian standard uh, that is 2495 and when we see the indian standard that is uh, 5129 it is uh, for the oil seal which we are using uh, for its dimension uh, or different dimension the inner diameter outer diameter and the thickness all these things uh, for example so they are indicated in this indian standard that is 25129 this is what for the second uh, the indian standard then the third uh, which we go for the standard for the uh, fits uh, that is uh, limit fits uh, that which you can see uh, what are the different types of fit uh, it may be a clearance transition or interference fit and the tolerance which it is having and uh, what should be the surface finish of the component so all these things uh, they are included so when we uh, select the is uh, 2709 uh, this standard it is for the selection of the fit uh, means when we are using the component whether it should be of the clearance fit or the transition fit or the interference fit so that all it indicates uh, in this indian standard uh, 2709 uh, then uh, the Indian standard uh, 919 when we say uh, then it says the tolerance uh, that is what uh, what should be its upper limit and what should be its lower limit uh, for the various uh, the holes and the shaft which we are using. So to specify its upper limit and lower limit uh, that is in tolerance we use this 919 standard. And the Indian standard 10719 uh, this is for the method of indicating the surface structure on the technical drawing. So what should be the surface uh, after manufacturing uh, of that component. So that is indicated in the standard uh, 10719. And the IS 8000 uh, that is the geometrical tolerance. Uh, the geometrical tolerance uh, different are there. Uh, it may be uh, parallel, perpendicular, uh, concentric. A circular perpendicular right so these are the few geometrical tolerance and how it should be indicated uh, all these things uh, that is indicated in the indian standard 8000 then uh, the fourth one uh, that is what the standard for st testing of the product uh, means uh, here the example if you take uh, that it may be of the boiler and the crane or uh, it is a preservation uh, if you want to test uh, then what are the different codes we have to follow so here uh, the is code uh, 807 uh, which is uh, for the practice of the design and the what is the manufacturing process and how we should erect and the test of the crane and the hoist so for the crane uh, we should go for this is 807 and uh, it includes all the design manufacturing and even after that the erection and the testing all these things it includes in the IS807 and when we go for the IS2825 uh, code uh, it is the unfired pressure vessel so for this uh, unfired pressure vessel uh, how to all this design and the reaction commissioning all these things uh, that it includes in the IS2825 then the next uh, the standard for the engineering drawing this is for the educational purpose or the all drawing which we use uh, already we had seen that the special publication sp46 and it is uh, prepared by the bs bis that is bureau of indian standard right on uh, engineering drawing uh, for the schools and colleges and that covers all the standard related to the engineering drawing so what should be the template what should be the size of the sheet and what is the lettering size and all these things it is indicated in the SP46. So this is what the all uh, what is the different standardization or try the different the standardization that uh, we had uh, seen. Now we will see uh, what are the different types of standards uh, which they are using regularly nowadays. So first one we can say it is a company standard. So company standard is what it is used in the company or the group of the sister uh, company. Uh, suppose one of the company it is having uh, the different four or five branches in the different uh, state we can say then all these company they follow one standard and this standard it is led to that 
particular company only uh, that the standard we can call it as a company standard then uh, the second uh, the you can say the national standard uh, it may be uh, bis bureau of indian standard sae society of automotive engineer then bs british standards right so in india we are following that bureau of indian standard bis uh, you might have studied all this bis convention all these things right so this is what the national standard and it is related to that particular country it varies country to country that is called the national standard and the third one uh, that is the international standard uh, that we can call uh, the iso uh, this iso is what the international organizations uh, for the standardization and this iso uh, it is used the worldwide and it becomes very easy to uh, communicate country to country and it becomes very easy uh, to manufacture and all the components of the uh, set of the some standards rules so this is uh, the different types of uh, standards which we are using thank you